everyone, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I started, like, I made three Preptober videos for this month, and I related them all to these other Preptober videos I had made. Then I went and realized that I had privated those because after my name change, I couldn't edit out my old name in those videos, and so I've decided to redo them, and I don't think there will be overlap, but I do plan on filming three more videos, so my new ones are coming out on the Tuesdays of October, and my redos that got a lot of traction in like 2018 are going to come out on Thursdays. So today's is all about how and what to prep for NaNoWriMo. Next week is going to be how to write 50,000 words in one month, and um, I usually do that in like two weeks, so um, I, I think these tips are helpful. <laughs> and then my third one is a prep with me. Preptober uh, for characters and beat sheets. I have been brainstorming this whole month and I keep getting more and more ideas. I have not actually uh, written out the outline for part two. I've kind of got the beginning going but I want to go through it with you guys and especially if you haven't done the beats before or you're a last minute prepper like this video will come out last minute but um, hopefully y'all enjoy that as well. So first and foremost if you haven't heard of the NaNoWriMo site Go to nanowrimo.org and um, create an account if you haven't, and then you're going to want to um, pick a project, and it's going to associate with NaNoWriMo, so it's going to automatically put you in at the 50,000 words. If you haven't toggled around with Nano, I love it for tracking all my projects. I put all my projects in there, but I give them like way extended deadlines just in case. Um, and you can go through prepping, drafting, finished, like all of that stuff, and keep track of your projects. It's so, so fun. And what's really great about nano time is that you get badges for completing certain things like writing every day, hitting word goals, um, updating twice in one day, like things like that, uh, which I'm super reward motivated. So that's one of the things I was going to mention. A lot of people have like word count trackers that they make and then they color in, which is really fun for the creativity side. Or you could be like me and just get these lovely badges that like I'm all about winning. <laughs> um, some people do where they get like a candy after, you know, 5,000 words or something like that. And I think that's really helpful um, to have established beforehand so that it's all ready for you and you're not just like scrambling for ideas. I know um, right, Holly Davis, she always had um, one of the goodies from the Nano merch store as her like 50,000 word um, reward and I think that is so so cool. So ahead of time if you don't know, you'd also like to find out if you are a plotter or a pantser or a planter, a mix of both, which I am. So that way you know like if you need to plot out your book ahead of time or if you're just going to go in and wing it or if you'd like the beats, which I'm going to go into later in the month. The beats for me help me keep going and not get stuck which I'll talk about more not getting stuck stuff in next week's video so once you figure all this out um, you want to create where your writing space is going to be where can you get alone time and especially like if you're like me I don't like noise so I can't write when other people are around like if I'm hanging out with my family so I like have to go to my computer at my desk in my office and um, I can try to write on my bed or the couch but I just prefer a desk I'm a weird one like that I guess and the time that I usually like to write is my lunch time early morning I can write late at night when I do live sprints but it, it makes me too awake and then I can't go to sleep so <laughs> figure out what works for you um, and then how many words per day you want to write so what is your schedule I skip weekends typically um, sometimes I write during my son's nap time so I do get some words in but just figure out where your words are going to come from and see how many you need to get. I just try for 2,000 words a day. That way I'm a little ahead of the curve and um, can reach the end sooner. Or if I have a roadblock, like I have time, like I have makeup words. Um, a lot of times I hit 5K a day, especially if the words are just flowing. So that usually puts me very ahead which I like I don't like stressing about finishing in time although it's okay if you don't finish but like okay okay so I don't know if I even said finish setting up your project on the NaNoWriMo site um, and have that there find other friends go in the community um, boost each other up there's a lot of fun like uh, daily prompts and challenges on Twitter especially and then writing sprints and things like that on Twitter YouTube and just like get this community motivation and accountability and it's just a lot of fun that's the whole 
point of nano besides writing your book <laughs> and just really be prepared to focus in america we have thanksgiving so that's a lot of like family time that maybe you don't have those those days to write but um you just really want to be prepared to sit down and write the words so again figure out what type of person you are do you like lighting candles do you like making playlists do you need aesthetics from pinterest what is going to help you get this story going instead of having to do it in the moment in November and waste your time especially if your book is something that you're not too familiar with like if you're doing research go ahead and make a names list or location list um, things about the, whatever topic you're talking about uh, just have stuff there so that you can just pull from that in October have that ready in October so you can pull from it in November and not get stuck Although if you do get stuck, um, that's the next video and it's just talking about how to keep going even when you are stuck. So if you can during Preptober, try to get a semblance of your story, what your book idea even is, that's very helpful. <laughs> um, characters, uh, who they might be, and we can keep tracking with this in my other videos, but your main character is the most important one. Are you going to have a love interest or just side characters or um, antagonists? Like what type of story are you building? How many characters are you going to have? All the names you might need to have. Your world, contemporary fantasy. If you have a magic system, how's that going to work? Um, a lot of this you can totally pants and figure out later. It's going to be a big revision, but <laughs> you can do it. And then, yeah, we'll create an outline and beat later. But, yeah, just if you're a plotter, you're going to want to figure all this out ahead of time, um, which is why I'm helping later in the month. But I know a lot of other YouTubers are helping right now. So <laughs> if you want to jump the gun on that, that's cool too. But this is my simple, short, and sweet uh, how and what to prep. Next week, we're going to go into what you're going to have to do once November's actually here. I'm going to give tips on that, and then that last week will be the prep in case you are scrambling last minute, or if you have brainstorm ideas last minute like I do and need to add them in, or just want to double check your like three-act structure versus my beat sheet structure, things like that. I hope you join me on all of these videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Good luck during Preptober and NaNoWriMo. Bye, guys.